Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ini Selamat datang saya ucapkan Tapi jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula Terima kasih kerana sudi kembali Jadi pada video kali ini We will discuss for examples On subtopic 5.1 Iaitu work Dan jangan lupa untuk tengok video notes animation Berkaitan dengan work dalam video sebelum ini jadi apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okay, for question number one, so we have a 4 kg trash can is pulled across a flat surface via rope with a 50 newton applied force to the right. So given that the coefficient of friction is 0.76, the can then pull for a total horizontal displacement of 10 meter. So now let's draw. So here let's say this is the floor. And then let's say this is the trash can. And then we try to push the trash can to the right with the external force of 50 newton. And at the same time kita ada frictional force which is opposite direction. Okay. So F is equal to, tak tahu, but we can calculate F by using equation mu kn. So soalan dah bagi coefficient of friction. Okay. So 0 0.76. And then the direction of the displacement is in this direction where the displacement is 10 meter. Okay. Contohnya kita nak tolak lah kotak ni uh, sampai dekat sini contohnya. Okay, and how much work was done by the frictional force on the trash can and calculate the total work done on the can. So, ada dua soalan dekat A itu. The first one, we need to calculate what is the work done by the frictional force. So, let's write the equation of work. So, F as cos theta. So, now look at the angle between S and F. So, S is to the right. F is opposite direction. So, the angle between them is 180 degree. Alright. So, we can substitute in this equation F equal to mu kn S cos 180 degree. Alright. So, here we can substitute mu S cos 180 degree but we don't have the normal force. So, we need to calculate first what is the normal force. So, kita tahu normal force duduknya dekat Y component. And the object is not moving in Y component. So, based on chapter 4, we can write total Fy equal to 0. So, in Y component, kita hanya ada weight dan normal. So, N is upward plus negative W since downward is equal to 0. So, normal force is equal to W and it's equal to mg. So, we can substitute the value of mass which is 4. 9.81 and the normal force would be equal to 39.24 Newton. Okay, awak tekan ya kalkulator tolong kira. So now let's continue the calculation. So the work done by the frictional force. So let's substitute all the values. So we have mu 0.76 and kita dah kira tadi 39.24. Okay, and the displacement S is equal to 10 meter. And then cos 180, so saya akan letak negative 1. So the answer should be equal to negative 298.2 joule. Okay, saya harap awak kira dan buat dan cuba semak jawapan yang saya kira ni. Okay, and then we want to calculate second part. We want to calculate the total work done on the can. Okay, so since we have calculated the work done by the frictional force, so, in order to calculate the total work done by the can, so saya nak guna formula total work done, okay, is equal to work done by the external force F plus work done by the frictional force. Okay, so perhatikan pada X component, hanya ada dua saja force, okay, external force dan juga frictional force. So, tadi kita dah kira work done by the frictional force. Kita dah dapat nilai dia. But we need to calculate what is the work done by the external force F. Alright. So, we can write here. 
So F is equal to, so WF is equal to capital F S cos theta. So the angle, so look at here, since S is to the right and F also to the right, so they are parallel, so the angle between them is 0 degree. Okay, so now we can substitute F is equal to 50 and S is 10 cos zero cos zero is equal to one and then kita akan dapat the work done by the external force should be equal to 500 joule all right so now the total work done nah dekat mana saya nak tulis ni okay saya letak kat tepi ni so the total work done is equal to work done by the external force is 500 joule plus work done by the frictional force should be negative 298.2 okay and then the answer of the total work done is equal to 201.8 joule okay so ini adalah jumlah energy transferred to the system so awak tengok dekat sini eh so maknanya energy transferred to the system is 500 joule but there is energy transferred from the system keluar daripada uh, sistem tersebut negatif 298.2 joule. Jadi berapa energi yang boleh menggerakkan kotak itu? So the total energy is equal to 201.8 joule. Jadi kita akan guna ini nanti untuk jawab soalan B. So now look at question B. If you assume that the initial speed of the can was 0 meter per second, so what is its speed after traveling the 10 meters described above? Uh, Okay, so kita nak kira berapa dia punya V. So given that, let's say here U is equal to 0 meter per second. So after moving 10 meter, so berapa dia punya V dekat sini. Okay, so remember we can use work energy theorem where the total work is equal to the change of kinetic energy. Alright, so we can write that total work is equal to 201.8 and it's equal to Final kinetic energy half mv squared minus half mu squared. So since u is equal to zero, we can cancel this one. And then we can find what is the value of the final velocity v. Okay. So we can just substitute the value of m is 4 kg. Therefore, v you akan dapat nilainya 10.04 meter per second. Jangan salah tulis unit. Okay, so finish example number one. So let's proceed to example number two. So here we have a box of 20 kg move up a rough plane which is inclined to the horizontal at 25 degree as shown in the figure. So it is pulled by a horizontal force. So F, look at F here. So the direction of F is horizontal. Dia parallel dengan uh, lantai awak ni. Okay, dia bukan parallel dengan the surface of the inclined plane. Ha, dia bukan parallel dengan yang biru. Mana yang biru? Yang ini. Okay, tengok betul-betul. Alright. So, given that the coefficient of kinetic friction between the box and the plane is 0 0.3. So, if the box travels 3.8 meter along the plane, determine the work done on the box by the force F, the gravitational force, the ration force and the frictional force. Okay, ini macam awak pernah buat lah. Sebelum ni, cumanya beza dengan soalan nombor satu, ini adalah inclined plane. Okay, so, the first step, I want to sketch X and Y component. Remember that X exists, okay, X exists mesti selari dengan surface dia. And Y exists must be perpendicular to the surface. Okay, so this is Y exists. Alright. So, we can transfer the free body diagram. Okay. Uh, walaupun soalan tak suruh saya buat free body diagram, kenapa saya nak lukis free body diagram? Supaya untuk memudahkan saya buat calculation saya. Ha, ni awak lukislah betul-betul eh. So, we have W straightly downward and then remember the angle here should be 25 degree. Okay, so here should be 25 degree. And we have another force which is external force which is parallel to the horizontal F. Okay, so kalau sini 25, so another one yang blue here should be 90, tolak 25 should be 65 degree. Okay, so kalau situ 65, okay, angle yang warna merah ini should be 25. Ah, macam tu. Okay, 
Uh, so, tengok betul-betul. Okay, so another force that we have is the normal force. And then we have frictional force. Alright, frictional force in this direction. So now let's draw the small s. So the direction is in this direction. Okay, so we want to calculate what is the work done by the external force, the first point. So let's write work done by the external force F is equal to Fs cos theta. And then the angle between S and F, alright, look at here. So we have this is the X component and this is the Y component. So S is in this direction, okay. Tapi F kita, F kita ke sini. Sekejap eh. But... The direction of F is horizontal direction. Okay. Uh, so, this is the external F. So, angle tadi kita dah lukis dah angle kat sini. Saya dah tunjuk sebelum ni kan. So, the angle here is 25 degree. Okay. So, now we can write the answer is equal to. Let's substitute F is equal to 250 Newton. And S is 3.8 meter cos 25 degree. Alright, so the answer should be 861 Joule. Okay, and then the work done by the gravitational force. So, W, F, small f is equal to F, S, cos theta. So, now look at the angle. So, the direction of S in this direction, but F is opposite direction. So, the angle should be 180 degree. Okay, so we can substitute here. Friction kita dah ada dah soalan dah bagi ke belum? Ha, belum lagi kan? Soalan hanya bagi the coefficient of friction. Ini saja 0.3. So we need to substitute in this equation mu kn. Okay mu kn. So n is the normal force. So you need to calculate first what is the normal force. Okay. So in order to calculate the normal force. So we need to resolve f into x and y component. Okay, so sekarang kita resolve dulu. F, this is Fx. Fx which is F cos 25. Okay, and then kita akan ada Fy. Fy is equal to F sin 25. Kalau kata tak nak guna angle 25, nak guna angle 65 pun boleh. Tapi jangan salah cos and sin. Tulis betul-betul. Okay, and then weight pun sama, kita ada WY dan juga WX. Okay, ha, tak muat ni, kecil sangat lukisan saya. Okay, so normal force duduk dekat mana? Normal force duduk dekat Y component. So, let's write total FY is equal to zero. The object is not moving in Y component. Chapter 4 ni. Eh? So, jadi kita akan tengok since normal force in Y component. So, kita akan tengok semua force yang ada in Y component. We have WY, FY and normal force. So, the direction of normal force is upward. So, N positive N plus negative WY plus negative FY is equal to zero. So, N is equal to Ha, berapa tu? So, tengok betul-betul WY kita adalah MG cos 25. Okay. Ha, so, FY. FY kita adalah F sin 25. Boleh? So, minus. Okay. So, dia akan jadi plus lah. Plus F sin 25. Okay. Ha, so, N kita boleh kira dulu. Okay. Awak boleh kira dulu dekat sini. M is 20 kg, 9.81, cos 25, plus, uh, berapa tu? Ha, berapa tu? Okay, external force tadi, 250 Newton. Okay, sine 25. Boleh? Okay, so kira lah, tekan calculator, dapat tak? Normal force, saya kira dapat 283. 0.47 Newton. Okay, mana tahu saya salah tekan calculator. So, awak tolong check. Alright, so now we need to substitute the normal force yang kita dapat dekat sini in this equation. So, therefore, okay, frictional force, let's calculate 0.3 mu 
N. N kita dah dapat tadi to 83.47. S is equal to 3.8. And the angle is 180 degree. Okay. So, you akan dapat nanti. Okay. The work done by the frictional force should be equal to negative 323.2 joule. Okay. Eh, sorry. 323. Sekejap eh. 323.2 joule. Okay. And then next we want to calculate the uh, work done by the reaction force. Reaction force ni adalah normal lah. Normal force. So since normal force is 90 degree dengan S. Okay. Uh, mana nak tulis ni? Tulis kat atas lah. Okay. The work done by the normal force. So NS cos 90 degree. Kan? Uh, sebab S ke sini. N is 90 degree. Okay. Uh, so 90 degree. Okay. So cos 90 akan dapat 0. So the answer is 0 joule. Okay. Uh, so kita dah jawab ini. 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 And then. Okay. The work done by the gravitational force. Wait. Okay. Ha, mana saya nak muatkan ni. Saya tulis kat sini eh. Work done by the gravitational force is equal to weight S cos theta. So now look at here. Okay. So this is X component and this is Y component. Okay. So the direction of S in this direction and then weight is straightly downward. Okay. So this is 90 degree plus another 25 degree here. Okay. So the angle between weight and S is equal to 115 degree. Okay. So we can substitute mg cos theta. So let's substitute here. M is 20. G is 9.81 times S. S is 3.8 cos tak muat eh. Saya tulis bawah. Cos 115. Okay, so you akan dapat jawapan dia negative 315. Okay, so we finish this one. And part B, we want to calculate the work done on the box. Okay, uh, the work done on the box, saya tulis dekat bawah ni. B, the work done ataupun total work done on the box disebabkan kita dah kira asing, -asing tadi. Okay, kita tambahkan je semua. Okay, plus... Okay, so for the reaction force ataupun normal force nak tambah boleh tak nak tulis pun tak apa because work done by the normal force is 0 joule. Okay, so now we can substitute all the values 861 plus negative 323.2 joule plus negative 315 plus 0. Okay, so kalau kita tengok kat sini the negative value here Okay, so this is the energy transfer from the system to the surrounding uh, untuk lawan frictional force and also berat dia. Okay, so when you put a work of 861 joule into an object, okay, that's mean you put energy into that object. Okay, so what happen? The object will move lah. But at the same time, there is also energy transferred from the system sebanyak 323.2. Okay, dan juga negative 315 joule energy transferred to the surrounding. Okay, so that, what is the total work done? Berapa total energy yang uh, bersih lah? The total work done, okay. So, kita kira lah. So, kita akan dapat 222.8 joule. Okay, so the remaining 222.8 joule will be used to do work on the block, okay. Uh, by moving the block to the right. Boleh? Okay. So, finish question number 2. So, let's proceed to question number 3. See you in the next session. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe channel Madam Fika Fiki. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera.